What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm hype because we've got Charizard. This right here is a choice specs, solar power, terra fire, blast burn Charizard. Now, blast burn is more of a last resort option. Don't be go and clicking and spamming that. But on this team, we've also got Venusaur. We've got a life orb Venusaur here with sleep powder, leaf storm, sludge bomb. Now, we've got Groudon to set the sun, and he has precipice blades. We've got precipice blades. We got torn with for the tailwind in the sunny day manual setting. Uh, with bleak wind, we've got Charizard with heat wave. We've got Venusaur with sleep powder. This, you know I don't like inaccurate moves. How are we gonna land any of these moves at all? This little guy right here in the corner is how. This little dog looking gremlin, gremlin looking thing has gravity. Sableye will prankster gravity to drop everything to the ground and increase everyone's accuracy by 1.67 times. That is a lot of accuracy. That means precipice blades will not miss. Leaf storm will not miss. Sleep powder will not miss. Heat wave will not miss. Ble you, you get it. Nothing's gonna miss. Nothing on this team is low enough accuracy to miss under gravity. Unless there's some evasion shenanigans going on on top of that. But anyways, I'm super hyped for this team. We got two Kanto starters. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do Blastoise coming soon. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to these because I'm so ready to play with Charizard. All right, we've got a Ice Horse, Blastoise. Oh, all of the starters from Gen 1 are here. Love it. Uh, Volcarona, G Galar Moltres, Rillaboom, and Comfey. Okay, so Rillaboom's there to boost Comfey's floral healing. They probably also have Life Dew on Blastoise. They probably have a bulky Calyrex. It doesn't look like a hard Trick Room team. Wow, that looks like a really cool team. I kind of want that team. Scarlet, hit me up if you if you see this. I, I want to see that team. Uh, well, maybe I won't after this. Let's see. Charizard goes absolutely in so hard here. Unless it gets faked out in the trick room on me. But I like Groudon Charizard lead. I also like Sableye, in case they do get Trick Room up, I can foul play that thing. Maybe if Moltres causes problems, I could Encore it if it Terra's. Uh, and then probably Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt seems actually okay here. I have to bring an Ice Weakness. And if I have to bring an Ice Weakness, I think in here, Bolt does well into everything that's not the Ice Horse. So it's Bolt. This should be a fun one. I, I think their team is really cool. If I'm gonna lose to a team, I want it to be a cool team like this. Uh, did they have a screens user though? Oh, everyone bullying Ogre Pond! No! <laughs> Calyrex Volcarona. Okay, so it's redirect set trick room? Yeah, good luck with that. Ah, uh, but I can't just tear the Zard. I have to tear a grout on here. Precipice blades, heat wave. Good luck. Uh, I tear a grout on both for the potential Will O Wisp from the Volcarona and for if they just go for Glacial Lance. Uh, I click both of my spread moves because they're gonna rage powder potentially. And hopefully I can do enough to their Ice Horse. It depends on their Terra. I imagine they would be water on a team like this. Fairy. No, you're gone. Oh, you're gone, dude. That's not gonna cut it. I think we got this. We connect both of these moves. I think we got this. Yeah, it is Rage Powder. We have to connect both of these moves. I don't have great accuracy. Who did we miss? The Calyrex. At least we have a single target precipice, but that's not gonna pay out. Uh, I, I might lose. Oh, boy. At least we connect the precipice blade. Single target does decent damage. Oh, it's a glacial lance. Oh no, that's okay. Charizard eats. And 36. Crit on Groudon. Thank you for only being on Groudon. 36 to 17? That was 19 damage? Ah, no. 
Well, Charizard's gone to the end of this turn, but... Live fast and die young, Charizard. Uh, it's Blastoise who has Fake Out. And would likely Fake Out the Charizard. What's the Heat Crash into Calyrex from Groudon? Is that strong or weak? 40 power. Ah, oh, that's useless. I'm gonna Sword Stance. No. I'm gonna Precipice Blades and bring in Sableye. Because Charizard, they're just gonna fake it out and it dies. They can't afford to let me get off the Heat Wave. They're, they're definitely gonna take out Charizard. No way! No way! You are insane! That is absolutely insane. No way did you just do that. Okay, I'm gonna Swords Dance. And, oh. Let me check their team. No way to block Fake Out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna Swords Dance with Groudon. Fake Out the Calyrex. Next turn, Gravity Precipice Blades. What the heck? Oh, they hit with Draw Calyrex! Into Rillaboom. That's okay. I think that's fine. Oh, they have Grassy Seed on Blastoise. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to be doing much with Precipice Blades now. I may reconsider the gravity of the situation. And getting some health back is nice, I think. Thanks for the Rillaboom. Body Press shouldn't do much. Yeah, you got the plus one, but it's not that strong. Alright, I'm going to protect Groudon here, because there's obviously a fake out coming somewhere. Um, I haven't revealed Encore. They've been making a lot of reads, though. They could they could try to read Sableye doing something, so I just want to get out of here. Into something that threatens Blastoise. So I can go next turn Thunderbolt Heat Crash. They've already Terran, so... They're not really a safe way to handle that. Uh, I guess they could be faster than Bolt. I don't know, I don't remember what this Bolt speed investment is, I think it's fairly slow. Okay, they did just fake out. That would've been funny to Encore that turn. And, and Water Spout? What a set! Um... Yeah. I mean, if you've got the health for it... Sure, but now I'm going for Heat Crash and Thunder Clap, honestly. <laughs> if you got Water Spout, you probably got Speed Investment. And I've got zero Speed Investment. Zero, zero. Wow. You don't see that every day. Heat Crash the Rillaboom. Thunder Clap the Blastoise. Oh, what are you going for here, Blastoise? Come on! <laughs> this Blastoise is insane. I'm so glad they brought it. Two Gen 1 starters on the field. So cool. Yawn. That makes sense. You have Yawn, Body Press, Fake Out, Water Spout. You are not avoiding this Thunderbolt. I am just going to attack you. I'm not leaving. How can I lose this? Calyrex gets Trick Room up. I don't really have anything other than Precipice Blades that can KO it right now, so I'm gonna do that. That's the play I have to go. There is a chance I lose this. It could... Groudon! Groudon, I swear to God! Why are you this way? 
Why are you the way that you are, Groudon? Nobody told you you could be this way. Okay, it's just Glacial Knights. Nice. And Groudon hangs on. That's all we needed. Oh boy. Oh. This Calyrex, man. This Calyrex is just dodging left and right. I'm gonna gravity now. So you're not gonna be able to get away with that ever again. No more dodging. Please. Pre Plus two Precipice Blades. Grassy Terrain does not weaken Precipice Blades. Grassy Terrain specifically weakens Earthquake, Bulldoze, and Magnitude. They just protect from the Fake Out turn, that's fine. That does not affect anything. I will put up the Gravity. I guess it also gives them a little bit of health back. But there's no way they're gonna take this. Plus, if they somehow take this, Then Charizard comes in and clicks Blast Burn. Yeah, you're not gonna take this. But if you did, you're still in trouble. I could Encore them, but I would rather... not. Because if they were somehow live, Foul Play is the better play. There we go. Good game. I guess it's not. It doesn't matter. I knew Precipice Blades would do it. That Calyrex was annoying. <laughs> but good game, team. Oh, thank you, Sableye. I'm so glad I brought you. I needed to connect a move eventually. Oh, good game. Good card. All right, we've got a Kyogre matchup. Kyogre, Landorus, Fluttermane, Tornadus, Incineroar, and of course, for a grab. Kyogre, Torn, plus something to block priority. Very standard. How do I want to approach this? I think they're going to see Raging Bolt and fixate on that. And so they're going to go with Landorus. So I'm going to lead two flying types. Because so I think that would be funny. I am still going to bring Bolt. I'm going to bring Groudon. Is Venusaur any good here? No, not really. It doesn't hit anything other than Kyogre. Is Sableye any good here? No, it doesn't have Sunny Day. We have Foul Play, Fake Out, Gravity, Encore. Which is a great set, but half of it doesn't work in front of Ferrigorak, so. Yeah, I don't, it's not Venusaur. Tornadus gives that a lot of trouble. These are the right four. But Kyogre matchups are hard. I mean, Sun versus Rain. Rain is stronger. Rain is just stronger than Sun in the matchup. It's the way it is. Especially with Groudon. With Koridon, it's a little bit different because Koridon actually resists water. But the combo of Torn and Kyogre is just so powerful. Oh, nice card with the with the white light in the background. Is that down in area zero? It's a cool shot. 10 out of 10. Well done. And we're in the floor. <laughs> Love this game, don't you? <laughs> All right, into Bolt we go, and have to set the sun. If I had led Bolt, I would be so well off, but I did not expect this lead. I genuinely did not think they would go this way right away. If they, if they're slower in set range, no, normally this Tornadus I have here is pretty slow. Usually we'll go second, which is great in this matchup. So they can't get away with setting Rain Dance turn one to overwrite the sun that I set turn one. It is Terra Water, thank you for locking that in. I appreciate knowing that. Now if they go for like a taunt crazy read like that, then we lose. <laughs> Bye Torn! Thank you for playing. If I go into Groudon, they'll just rain dance, water spout. No. 
Yes. They are will ex they will expect a thunderclap, and so they will swap Tornadus. I, ha I have to play to my win con. My win con is they expect a thunderclap. They swap Tornadus, letting me get the Thunderbolt while weakening damage with Groudon Swap. I'm putting the Charizard in here just as bait. And if they go for Rain Dance, Water Spout, I mean, they lose their Kyogre, most of it at least, but it's not a bad play. They didn't swap, it looks like. So I think I lost. Maybe they Tailwind here, that would be fine too. Kyogre has protect. Well, what's great here is now they have to rain dance. And so I might be able to actually get a thunderclap off. I'm so sorry, Charizard. This is not gonna go well for you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Groudon is swapping. Groudon might be the slowest, so I don't think they're going into Furry Grab, which is really good. Really good for me. But even with the weakened damage after the Thunderclap, I do think a Rain Boosted, Terra Boosted, probably Mystic Water Boosted move might still take out Charizard. Let's see if we Oko. Probably not. No boosting item. And oh, Ice Beam! Interesting. Okay. Who turns a Tailwind from you? The Ice Beam is pretty free if you bring in Farigarath. But if you bring in Farigarath, I can set the sun. So it's all about, it's all reads all day. Who can read better? Probably not me. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, Raging Bolt swapping, that means no Farigarath! Come on, man! <laughs> this is not... This is not... Okay, it could just be a Protect Rain Dance play. Which is also really bad for me. Oh, it's a Bleak Wind Storm and Attack play. Groudon dodges the Bleak Wind. No speed drop, please. Or Charizard avoids, yes! Double Heat Wave Connect, let's go! Let's go! Get out of here, Kyogre! Boom! Get out of- It's Sash. They still have weapon control. Still. Kyogre is gone, and it only cost me, like, my whole team. <laughs> oh boy. Now bring in something that absolutely destroys me and set your rain back. Oh, oh, just bring in Landorus and Rain Dance, I lose. Yeah, I can't, I don't have anything for that. Fluttermane? With the speed boost? That might be okay. Huh. Yeah, that... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do here. Last turn of Tailwind doesn't matter. Precipice Blades? Heatwave will still KO Torn in the rain. That's all I'm saying. If that's the way they're going. Um, Fluttermane might be able to pick up a KO here on Charizard. Groudon's tanky, I don't know. If there's Specs, Shadow Ball, maybe. I, what I'm saying is it's not over until I see Landorus. Once I see Landorus, it's over. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Surprised they didn't just bring it right out. Uh, they are Speed Booster. Okay, they're not Specs. That's good to know. 
I suspected they weren't specs. Moonblast into Groudon, doesn't take it, awesome. Heat Wave double connects. Now what's really sad... ...is I missed the Precipice Blades. No, I connected! <laughs> there we go! KO? KO. What's really sad is if they have Landorus, I can't win. Because Sandseer's Storm... Oh, I guess they could be slower than Charizard, maybe. It's for Rigorath last? Yo! Okay, how do I win this now? I'm locked into Heat Wave here, I need Sun Up. Hopefully Charizard can take a hit. Yo, I've got a chance here! Um, they might Trick Room. That wouldn't be a bad play. I'm just trying to get Sun back up with Groudon. So I don't have to rely on Precipice Blades. I can use Heat Crash. That does a lot of damage in the rain. They do set Trick Room. Can they KO both of us? I doubt it. 110. Dragon Pulse is a little stronger. No, well, Thunderbolt's strongest. Let's go with that. And a Heat Wave. Yeah! Oh, there's a chance here! Why did you not bring Landorus? This matchup is incredible! You have solely single target moves? Ooh! Ooh, yes, we win! We win if we can connect a move! Because that's going to put it in Heat Crash range. And if you only have single target moves... You can't stop both of these fire moves. I mean, I guess you could... Take out Groudon, dodge a Heat Wave. There's too many turns of Trick Room to even consider protecting. Heat Crash, Heat Wave. Come on, Charizard, you got this! Oh, it's Psychic into Charizard. They know their, they know what their, end, their win con was. They were going for the Groudon Protect win con. Charizard, you are a soldier. Groudon, heat crash that thing. Bonk! Now, I'm sure it's heavy. It probably doesn't take max damage. Rocky Helmet! Who wins on this? Rocky Helmet for the KO! That's a win! That counts as a win! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Whew! Alright, we've got... I... I don't... I... Okay, it's... it's... Y'all know what it is. Oh boy. Ah, uh, Smuckle. Groudon has Heat Crash. Sableye's gravity increases accuracy. Tornadus has Taunt. Tornadus does have Taunt, right? I'm not making that up. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Tornadus has Taunt. That'll ta taunt the Smeargle. I'll throw Precipice Blades. And then Heat Crashes after they minimize. Fine. I'll have Charizard for a cleanup crew. And then if they do get things going, I'll need someone like Raging Bolt to handle it. Okay. Okay. I got this. Right? I got this, right? I'm not gonna get Evasion Spam to death, right? I didn't even bring... Okay, that's a that's a decent card, but like I don't respect you. Not if you're leading Smeargomot. <clears throat> Love it. Well, at least I led correctly. Taunt you. Precipice blades. 
force the Terra out on the muck, see what that is. I mean, you could like, what, wide guard this turn for the free minimize? Makes sense. And then if you have a Terra that resists fire, that'd be annoying. But you can't spore, you can't follow me. Smeargle will sometimes have an attacking move. Alright, so they are going to Terra, presumably Muck. Yeah, it is Muck, into Water. Don't like that. Heat Crash will do way less to that now. But I can also taunt the Muck next turn. Alright, Smeargle, what are you going for? Can't Spore, good. Give me some big damage on that Muck, please. And Smeargle is KO'd. They were not Sash. So they get the Moody right away. Not liking that part. And they go for the Minimize. Should I have taunted that slot? I don't know. Uh, but Raging Bolt in the back is good into that. Uh, special Attack Boost Defense Drop? Yes! Thank you! I like to see that. Who do you got next? Flamingo. With the co-star. And no defense drop. Uh, but you co-starred just the evasion. And the special attack. That's not that threatening, honestly. I could probably beat you 1v1 with the bolt. So I will now taunt... Do I burn Terra here? Yeah, no one else really needs it. Taunt you, and then put everything I have into a heat crash. Maybe I should have Swords Danced and Taunted? I don't know, they're still getting the Moody Boost, so I can't be wasting time. While they have the defense drop, I should take advantage of it. And they just protect this turn. I doubled into you. Oh well. Maybe it, that should have been a bleak windstorm, honestly. At least go for a chance to hitting the other guy. That does a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna get Tornadus out of here now. Alright, show me your stat change. Well, they've got leftovers. Attack boost, speed drop, okay. Going into Bolt. Throwing a Heat Crash. That could have been a Swords Dance. That definitely should have been a Swords Dance. But Heat Crash is doubled power. It's in the sun. Groudon's super strong. There's no way Muck weighs more than like, what is the max, a quarter of Groudon? No way. I think that probably KOs. And I'm bringing in Bolt on the Acrobatics, because they think they can take out Torm, but I'm not going to let that happen. And then their last is Calyrex. They could end up psych upping the Flamigo for evasion. That that and they could win with that. They dodge enough with Calyrex. That is how they win this game. Because when you copy the evasion, you didn't technically minimize, so you don't have the inability to dodge Heat Crash that Minimize gives you. So Heat Crash will hit Muck, but it won't hit the other stuff. Alright, hopefully this KOs. I think it does, unless they're super defensive. Got him! Yes! Out of here, Muck. And I'm still absolutely terrified of your last Pokemon, but uh... Well, we'll have to see how that goes. It is Calyrex. You already burned Terra. I have Snarl, but the bird has Wide Guard potentially, so I think my best bet is to Thunderbolt you and throw a Heat Crash. You, if you attack, I don't know if you get the KOs you need. Uh, you might be able to double into Groudon and KO that, honestly. Hmm. 
But I can't Thunderclap because you might Psych Up. I can't Snarl because you might Wide Guard. I would really like to be able to Snarl. Okay, they're just detecting. There's no way they're going to take a KO here then, unless they're like, Specs. Yeah. We get the double up. This is huge. Just Flamigo, no way is that going to be full. I will hit you eventually. Focus Ash. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's why you can couldn't KO Groudon. Goodbye. Woo! Taking down a Smuckle team. Love it. Uh, is the sun about to go? Because I could get that back later, but... Does it matter? I, I'll, I could lose Groudon. It's fine. Thunderbolt. Heat Crash. <laughs> Battle was cancelled. Um, I'll just say game. Alright, we've got a Zamazenta matchup. Uh, the only wide guard user on that team might just be the Zamazenta. Uh, Raging Bolt, Amoongus, Galar Moltres, Female Indeedy, and Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl and Indeedy, that's a little weird. Okay, uh, Amoongus is a little spooky, I guess, but... Overall, this seems like a good matchup. Heat Wave can go crazy. I don't see any weather control. I do see potential for, like, screens. Um, I think I want to go Groudon Charizard and just exert as much pressure as I can right away. Sableye is a cool idea because of it being a ghost, but it doesn't really do anything into Zamazenta. Uh, so I think I want Raging Bolt just for another special attacker. And then finally... Venusaur can't really touch Zamazenta, but it might Terra, so that could work. I don't think I need Tailwind, but they could be Tailwind on Moltres. Um, I think I'll go Venusaur, just because it's a little more offensive, and it's immune to Spore, which is nice. Spore could be a problem if they go for Terra on that, and I don't have Bolt positioned. I think that's the four I need. Something that resists uh, Thunderclap as well, other than Groudon. Yeah, something that resists uh, Body Press as well. Okay, yeah, I think Venusaur is the right call. That's a good card. I love Larry. I mean, everyone loves Larry. Who doesn't love Larry? Okay. Indeedy Moltres. Cool. I think I'm happy to throw a powerful Heat Wave. Um, do I want to save Terra for something else, or do I want to just throw it with Charizard? The confirmed Groudon's faster than Indeedy, that does not mean anything to anybody. Uh, Charizard tearing makes it a little more vulnerable to body press. Uh, but the only other Terra I would want is, like, Fairy on Bolt. But I think if I can do enough damage here, I don't need it. So. Heat Crash into Moltres. No. Heat Crash into... I mean, Heat Crash is going to go second. Charizard might pick up a KO. So I'm just going to go Terrifier Heat Wave in the sun. I kind of wish this Groudon had Helping Hand, if I'm being honest. I just want this to do nuclear power damage. Just, just as much damage as humanly or, or Pokemonedly possible. Okay, it's follow me anyway, so the Heat Crash didn't matter who I picked. Heat Wave, uh, who's dodging? Indeedy dodges. Okay, that's actually fine, because I'm hitting Indeedy anyway. And Moltres gets deleted in one. Let's go Charizard. Woo! All right, and what does Heat Crash do? Uh, I'm not Terra. These typically run max defense. Yeah, okay. That might be, be oh, it's Rocky Helmet too, okay. It might honestly be better for me that that hung on. Uh, here's Zamazenta. Zamazenta's probably gonna be trying to take out Charizard, if I had to guess. I could preserve Charizard, but I don't really see, I mean, Charizard Endgame versus who else would you have? Bolt, probably? Charizard's not that great into Bolt. Does Charizard even go down here? 
Um, I think I want to Swords Dance with Groudon and launch a Heat Wave. Who knows what Zamazenta's gonna go after? Uh, and they're terastalizing it. So they are worried about this combo, at least. Into fighting? Oh, Charizard's not gonna take that. Oh, boy. Hopefully you're slow or something. You could be slower than Charizard, but probably not. I think you'd be invested to be faster than this. You're not! Oh, and we double connect! Oh my goodness. Zamazenta does hang on, though. Wow, Charizard was faster? That's awesome. And body press into... Doesn't matter who. Charizard, bye. Uh, I cannot Thunderclap, but Venusaur should outspeed in the sun and take you out pretty easily. And your last is either Bolt, which does not want to fight a Groudon, or Grimmsnarl, which is pretty meaningless with, with the terrain up. And who is their last? It doesn't matter. Venusaur is the call here. Venusaur is 100% the call here. Going great. Charizard put in some work. And now it's time for the other Gen 1 starter to clean up. Maybe I'll use Blastoise in the near future. Alright, show me your... It's your last Mon, right? I took out Moltres and Indeedee. You don't have a choice. I guess you're trying to think of how you get out of this, but... What's with those little yellow and blue twirls coming up out of the ground. What's, what's going on there? Is that part of the terra? Is that part of the terrain? Why have I, I've never seen those before. Okay, it is Bolt. Great. I will just throw Precipice Blades and Sludge Bomb at Zama. Precipice ba Blades goes Blama and Sludge Bomb goes at Zama. And that should be game. I mean, I can miss, they could protect, they could... They could, what they could do is Wide Guard to block the Precipice Blades after Zamazenta goes down and use Bolt to, I don't know, Draco might take out Groudon. You've got the special attack boost in the sun. But you would have to lose Zamazenta to do that. You didn't do that, so there's Sludge Bomb. Goodbye Restricted. I'm surprised it actually took the Charizard Heat Wave. Zamazenta's a beast. And then Precipice Blades connects. Yeah, you're not taking that. Goodbye. Woo! Quick and easy victory for Charizard. I love it. A good game. That was... You brought some really cool Pokemon that I love. They just couldn't keep up with Charizard. Alright, we've got a Sarina Kyogre team. That's cool. With Archaladon. And they've got Jugulus, Fluttermane and Incineroar. The Jugulus is probably Speed Booster with Hurricane, if I had to guess, uh, and Tailwind Snarl stuff. Now what is my answer to every single thing on their team? It's Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt seems really nice. Uh, we can't Thunderclap because of the Sarina, but I mean Thunderbolt does really well into their team. Uh, Fluttermane is a little bit of a problem, and we need our own speed control, so I think Zephyrin here could get some speed control for us. Maybe even set up Sun. I don't know. Do I want to go with Charizard on lead? Oh, that sounds fun. I gotta have Raging Bolt. I gotta have Groudon. Uh, in practice, I've found that bringing Charizard is actually good into the Kyogre matchup. You would think Venusaur would be it, but they have, like, our Chaladon, which is untouchable. They've got their Flying type. They've got their Fire type. Um, Charizard does fine into Fluttermane. And having Weather Ball is actually nice. If they put up rain for me, Incineroar could be in trouble if I lock into Weather Ball. And also, if you get Sun up and Terra the Charizard, Blastburn can KO a Kyogre. And he deserves it for not having a trainer card, so let's see if we could pull that off. Alright, Fluttermane Archaladon. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to Sunny Day and nuke something. Uh, no booster on the Fluttermane, that makes sense. Um, it's probably Specs, and if it can Oko Charizard, I think I can't win. Ooh. 
Raging Bolt goes kind of crazy if we can delete Fluttermane, though. Sunny Day Fire Terra... I'm really leaning Sunny Day Fire Terra Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm going for it. If Fluttermane can actually Oko Charizard, good for you. Because you can't go into Kyogre here. Because I'll be setting Sunny Day manually. Uh, unless you have some sort of move that swaps Fluttermane. Does Fluttermane get any moves that lower its stats so it could like a jet pack? Our Chaladon protects! They're not Assault Vest. Interesting. I wonder if they're trying to... Oh, they're not tearing. Um, what's their boost? Speed, probably? Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't affect the speed tier here. Uh, and they go for Icy Wind. That does have some implications. Now I will not be faster after Tailwind. Does that mean there's Sash? Well, let's see. I did connect. They are Sash. Okay. Well, that means they're probably not strong enough to take out Charizard, so even if you get the speed drop, I probably want to go for Tailwind Heat Wave? Or do I want to go for Sunny Day Heat Wave? Is there any chance they're Meteor Beam Archaladon? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, no. They might go to Kyogre. So I actually want to click Sunny Day again and go for Heat Wave. That's, that's the play I want to make. Okay, they did not. They're gonna try to take me out with our Chalada. Electro Shot. That, that means they're Power Herb. Their power herb sturdy. I've seen that set before. Let's see who they knock out. Uh, they go for Charizard. That makes sense. That probably takes us out. Yeah, that's sad. Okay. It's not over though. It's not close to over. We still got this. Groudon won't outspeed, neither will Raging Bolt. But I think Groudon is the play first. Chaladon's at plus one. I think I will go for... A bleak wind storm. Because our Chaladon's not gonna be faster than that. And then Precipice Blades? I think that's my only play here. I may I'm in a little bit of a bad position here. They made some good plays. The icy wind into Electro Shot was a good play. If I had tailwinded, I would have at least hit our Chaladon. But I was too scared. Oh no. Oh no! A double miss! Uh, it's just Dragon Pulse there. That does take out Tornadus. We went before Fluttermane. That's Trick Room, right? But we connect, so you don't get it. I guess they were reading a Tailwind. Alright. Here comes Bolt. Holy Ferreo. Oh! Oh, that's so good. That's amazing. That mean if their last is Kyogre, that means they didn't bring Sarina. I mean I can thunderclap stuff. Oh, they didn't burn Terra yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and thunderclap our Chaladon. And go for a heat crash over on the Jugulus, because I think Jugulus is probably going for a status move, or it might Terra defensively. So I'll just throw a Heat Crash there. It look, it looks pretty light to me. And then everything should be scared of Thunderclapping. They do have Terra left, of course. Something crazy would be like pull out a Terra Ground Kyogre or something. Okay, our Chaladon was attacking. That's good. You're gone. 
and Jugulus Tailwind? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't mind that. Hopefully I can do a lot of damage with this Heat Crash. Uh, it's alright. I mean, it's definitely not alright. <laughs> This is a bad position to be in. Okay. Obviously we protect Groudon just to force them to keep going for spread moves, but... What would their Terra on Kyogre be? If I knew the Terra on Kyogre, this would be a much safer position. I think I have to go for a Snarl. Yeah, I think I have to go for a Snarl Protect on this turn. Oh, they're probably Terra Grass Kyogre. I don't, I don't know if I beat Terra Grass Kyogre. I think Terra Grass Kyogre... Oh, maybe I should have Thunderclapped the Jugulus in that case. Yeah, here's the Terra. Even if you're water, though, you would burn it here. There's no reason not to. It's electric. Okay. That's not as bad as Grass, in my opinion. Because this implies they have Thunder, and maybe not Ice Beam. Okay, they go for their own Snarl, that makes sense. And just Water Spout, okay. Well, we'll weaken that up a little bit. Now, that does a lot of damage to Bolt. But we connect our Snarls back, okay, good. I'm now going to Thunderclap the Jugulus. Two hundred and thirty-one down to one forty-three. That did less than a hundred. Huh. I'm debating whether I go for the double protect. I think I should. I think I should. I probably don't get it. Ah, oh, and they protect? I better get it. Oh no, yeah, that's game. Good game. Whew! Assuming they went for Water Spout again. That's a good game. Maybe Groudon can eat this? I doubt it. No. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Oh, a crit on Groudon. Great. Thank you. Thank you. That, that means the snar Snarl was useless. Alright. Uh, how could I have won this? Uh, I probably could have played better, right? They did play really well into the Charizard lead. And then with Electric on Kyogre, I needed to win the Weather War. That Bleak Wind miss was also kind of huge, if I'm being honest. So I don't know. I think, I think the way I played was okay. But losing the Weather Control means I lost the game here. Yeah, obviously they would just Snarl and Water Spout. I'll just Thunderclap here, whatever. They go for a double protect. Oh my goodness. They don't want to lose it. Alright. You've just proven you can play better than me. That's cool. <laughs> that doesn't KO. Water Spout was more. Oh, I'm out. Oh. Yeah, I'm out of here. Good game. <laughs> uh, would Venusaur have helped? No, it couldn't hit our Chalodon. Well, that's a good game. Alright, we've got a Maridon team. Maridon, Thunderous, Iron Leaves, Chiyu, Pelipper, no, not Pelipper, and Fluttermane. Alright, Pelipper is terrible for a Sun team. Maridon is very scary for Charizard. Uh, their speed control seems to be either Pelipper, or maybe Icy Wind, or Thunder Wave from some other stuff. So we may be able to just do better speed control, but also Groudon Sableye. I like Groudon Sableye. It's like a good lead into Maridon. And also setting gravity and throwing precipice blades all over the place seems like a fun thing to do. Uh, in that case, I probably need Tornadus in the back. That's a lot of support. Can Charizard 
finish it up here? I mean, maybe. Do I think Bolt might be stronger here? Am I gonna leave Venusaur and Charizard on the bench? No, I'm gonna bring Charizard. Yeah, so I think that's the play. I think it's a Gravity Precipice Blades style matchup. If they leave Maridon, I might have to like fake out the Maridon. But we'll see. And Shiny Vaporeon. Good card. All right. Maridon and Iron Leaves lead. All right. Cool with me. I'm a little bit scared for my Groudon safety. You got the speed boost. Uh, maybe they won't expect a fake out Precipice Blades, because that could win the game. A fake out Precipice Blades that they're not expecting, where I just delete Maridon, could win us the game. And I'm going to Terra so that Iron Leaves doesn't, like, destroy us with Leaf Blade. I don't think we would go in one hit to that, but it could hurt. Okay. Looks like my Terra's coming out first. They should be way faster with both of those Pokemon, so they're not gonna Terra, which is great. Um, a Protect from Maridon is fine, because I can Encore it. I don't want to see a miss. This, or a Covert Club. Yeah, Leaf Blade, predictable. And their Life Warp, good to know. Maridon does flinch. And that's a game-winning play. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here, Maridon. All right, it's not over. I still have to, they still have Terra. They still have a lot of strong Pokemon. I don't have any way to turn off their terrain either. But that is a great start. Yeah, Pelipper, fine. Bring in your Pelipper. Do it. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Ah, uh, now I'm definitely gonna throw a foul play at Iron Leaves. And then probably bring in Tornadus over here. That's what I think I should do. Yeah. I, I need weather control. I, I'm up a mon, but Charizard is useless without the weather. I guess I could have water-type water weather balls thrown around. That could be fun. Hmm, maybe Bolt was the pick. <laughs> Maybe over Tornadus, even? Alright, how much does this do? That did a lot of damage, but good bulky Torn. Good job. And a double in with Hydro Pump. Wow. Well, that means I take the Foul Play KO and secure Weather Control. So I will trade you Torn for Weather Control. I do not mind one bit. Thank you. Now, do I take it immediately with Groudon? They do have Hydro Pump. I think I will go Groudon. And they've got Fluttermane. Okay. Fire Groudon is the way to go. Love it. I could Encore them into Hydro Pump, but that's not very meaningful. They get the speed boost? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a Heat Crash on Fluttermane. I could prevent Speed Control with Encore on the Pelipper, but they probably want to click Hydro Pump anyway. So I think I'll throw a Foul Play at Pelipper just to chip a potential Sash on either of these. Yeah, I thought they might Wide Guard. I wanted to Gravity Precipice Blades really bad, but I knew they might Wide Guard. Uh, Rosalie Berry, please save me. Thank you, Rosalie Berry. Oh, I love that item on Sableye. Wow. When you only got one weakness to worry about. All right, are you the Sash or is Pelipper the Sash? Oh, you're gone. Looks like Pelipper was the Sash. And I can Encore you into Wide Guard, bring in Charizard, and Blast Burn. That is my play. That is the way to win this. Please, oh, it's Rocky Helmet, okay. So then I bring in Charizard. And I'm going to set gravity so I don't miss the Blast Burn. And they cancel! Why does no one want me to click Blast Burn? Come on, man. We are back. So fun playing with this Charizard. There's a rental code in the corner for you if you want to try this yourself. 
and I highly recommend it. This team got me into Master Ball finally, so it's actually really good. Uh, Charizard, amazing. I wish I could have connected a Blast Burn. At least I tried clicking it sometimes. Uh, Groudon did great because of the gravity. I don't trust Groudon without it. And Venusaur, Venusaur did show up. Venusaur did do some stuff, but it wasn't really the star of the show. The star of the show was Charizard. But anyways, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I also have a Twitter now, so go and follow me there and do what people do on Twitter. I don't know. Anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.